Welcome to Total Strength and Inversions number three. Today we're going to work into tuck up handstands. So this is one of my favorite variations of handstands, but it can be frustrating for a lot of people. We're going to work into a lot of shoulder openings, some core control, and also using our breath to make it easier for us to get upside down. So when you're ready, let's come on to all fours. Go ahead and tuck your toes behind you. Bring your shoulders over your wrists. Grip your fingers. Start to move forward into your wrists. So draw forward. And you exhale, keep the toes tucked, hips back to heels. Inhale, draw forward, roll the shoulders open. And you exhale, press back. Let's go three more, use your breath. Inhale, tuck your chin, slowly ripple forward. And then push back. And two more, just working into wrist flexors, nice and easy. And then inhale, pour your weight forward, grip your fingers. And you exhale, draw back, release your palms, fingertips towards your knees now, heels the hands forward. We'll go through some cat cows here. So as we inhale, thread the heart up and through, lift the tailbone. Then you exhale, curl the spine, chin to your chest, tuck your tailbone, so round up. And let's go through again four more at your own pace. Inhale. You exhale, draw the belly in. So we're going to go really slow as we move here. Try to get some new movement through your spine. A lot of times we move too quickly in this one. We kind of work into the already weak parts of our spine. So try to get some new movement. Start to fire up into your core. And you exhale, tuck the tailbone, pushing the mat this time, lift the back of the heart, lean back. And eventually releasing, bring the back of the hands on the floor, fingertips towards your knees. So if this one's really sensitive, again, just bend the elbows, soften the lobe. Take an inhale breath, lengthen your arms, rock the triceps in. And you exhale, elbows bend forward, slowly lower the heart. Let's do five sets. Inhale. And you exhale, lower. So just keep that movement flowing with your breath. These are some of the things that are going to pay some big dividends in the future. As you start to advance your practice, you want to draw in a lot more mobility and a lot more strength to your wrists. That's really a key aspect of advancing your overall movement practice. And the last one, let's lower down, keep that core control, let's release out, interlace your fingers. Any motion that feels good, just work into, you know, any place you need to pause into and just breathe, feel free to do that as well. Any mobility you lack in the wrist, your body will try to make up for in the elbows or in the shoulders. So it's really hard to kind of maintain that straight shape while you're going upside down if your wrists are holding on are too tight. So let's keep the fingers interlaced. Inhale, breath, palms up towards the ceiling, wrap the triceps forward. So from here, tuck your, tuck your toes behind you. Take your knees hip width apart. Lift the gaze up, inhale. And as you exhale, separate your hands, bend the elbows 90 degrees, draw your shoulders down your spine. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, mobilize the shoulders, draw the shoulder blades down towards your glute, three more. Keep the lower ribs drawing in. And the inhale, breath. And the exhale, this time draw the hips back towards your heels, bend the elbows, squeeze the shoulder blades together, palms stay opened up, lift the gaze up, start to lean back. So just a mini back bend, draw into the strength of the back body, keep the heart peeling open. And the inhale, draw forward, puppy pose, tense your fingertips, walking forward, hips over top of your knees. Wrap the triceps towards the floor. Exhale, breath. Heart down towards the floor. Tuck your chin. Find a place for your forehead to rest. And now really just sink in with the breath. Let that full inhale and exhale anchor your mind inside. And eventually plant the palms, start to walk your hands back in towards the body. Let's come on to all fours. Shoulders over top of your wrist. So again, let's work into that really strong position. Shoulders over wrist, push down into the mat, lift the back of the heart. So instead of pushing as hard as you can, start to use more muscles if that makes sense. So we're working to be more efficient with our body. We're not trying to tire our arms out fast. Just start to be more efficient, more intelligent with your movement. Keep the toes tucked, hips up and back. When you're ready, downward facing dog, let's move into it. 
Any motion that feels good, pedal out through the feet, cycle out through the hips. And as we're training for handstands, start to draw the heart past your shoulders. So keep the shoulders opening up, triceps wrap towards your body, start to move the belly back towards your thigh. So if you want to build that straight line shape, it really pays to work into your shoulders a bit more in downward facing dog. Let that become kind of a habit. As long as you can keep that long spine, so start to tuck the chin, maybe push a bit more. Next inhale, breath come up in your toes, lift the heels up. And the exhale, push back, heels down to the mat. Two more, inhale up in your toe. Exhale, push back. One more time, inhale up in your toe. This time as you exhale, drop the heels over towards the right side, body stretch. So feel your left foot root down, soften your right knee in. Stage two, side plank, lift your right knee towards your chest. Left arm extends up, maybe extend their right foot out, let's hold here for five. Push down to the floor, four. Let's go for three, keep elevating that right foot. Let's go for two. And one, when you're ready, plank pose. Optional, chaturanga, lower halfway down. Push back up, plank pose. Downward facing dog, reset. Second side, inhale. Lift up on your toes, make sure your feet are hip width apart. Exhale, heels over towards the left now, so drop the heels. Right foot roots down, soften the left knee in. Track the right arm open, hold here, side plank, go for five. Strengthen with the breath for four. Let's go for three. Let's go for two. And one, back down to the floor, plank pose. Optional chaturanga, halfway down, lower. Hold here now for five, squeeze in, four. Let's go for three, for two, and one, push up. Back to plank pose, downward facing dog. Four steady breaths here, reset. When your next out breath, soften the knees, take a look forward. When you're ready, step or flow, come to the top of the mat. Let's take an inhale breath, halfway lift. In the exhale, bow forward, draw the belly in. Inhale, push out through your feet. Let's come all the way up, reach the arms up. In the exhale, breath, hands to your center. Just find mountain pose for a moment, calm your mind. So you can step your feet together or hip width apart, your choice. Let's bring all your awareness down towards your feet. So feel the big toes press in the mat, feel the heels root down. And feel free to shift your weight side to side, front to back. So we're just looking for that midline of the body. Where is that center point that feels the lightest? So important for every single posture, even hand balancing, finding that midline. So push out from that midline now, start to engage your legs, squeeze in through your glutes. Feel that power penetrate up through the heart space, up through your chest. Let's take an inhale breath, gaze up, reach your arms up. Any exhale, bow forward, straighten through your center, halfway lift, in breath, hands to your shin. Any exhale, bow forward, palms on the floor, step back through plank. In this variation, bring your big toes to touch, so feet together, lean into your wrist, grip your fingers, hold plank for five. When you lift the back of the heart, go for four. And three. And for two, really solid, squeeze your glutes. And let's go for one, drop the knees on the floor. And let's move into mobilizing the shoulders and through your trap. So right arm extends out, left hand to your lower back. And you exhale, left ear, left shoulder. So feel free to find some movement here first. Forward and back motion with your chin. And allowing yourself to pause at any sticky spots, just breathe through it. And when you feel ready, back through center, chin to chest, second side, right ear, right shoulder, create that extension. So your left arm is about 45 degrees. Feel free to move that arm as well though. See what works best for you. 
Keep toning your belly towards your spine. So we're training that compression, even in these opening postures. Train that navel center, drawing it. Bring it back through center. Now come onto our palms. So keep the knees onto the floor. So palms onto the mat. Bring your hands kind of in line with the middle of your thighs. Feet together behind you. So you can use blocks for this one as well. I'm just going to use palms onto the mat. This works too. So take a full inhale here. And as you exhale, come forward, pushing the mat, knees drop towards your chest, stay in the top of the feet, and we lower, open up the chest, inhale, exhale, lower, let's go for 10, lower, let's go 9, lower, protract your shoulders, 8, let's go 7, and 6, you have to exhale as you lift, in 5, you can do it, 4, Let's go three, in two, and one, open up, exhale, push and lift, we'll start to walk the feet back, walk the hands forward, come into a plank, but stay on the top of your feet, push up, hold here for five, squeezing your thighs together, four, let's go for three, let's go for two, and one, draw into the floor, knees on the floor, interlace your fingers behind you. Bring your palms together, inhale, roll the shoulders open, extend your arms back. So you can stay here, or next stage, tuck your chin, slowly roll forward, crown your head on the floor, and just allow your head to root down, allow your arms to come overhead. Take your awareness to the front of your shoulders, just try to soften there. So just like how you came in, use some core strength, come all the way back up. Let's release. Interlace the fingers, inhale, breath. Come up onto your knees again. So palms towards the chest now. Tuck your toes. Inhale, draw in some new energy. Exhale, push it away from your hips back to your heels. Inhale, draw it in. Exhale, give it to your neighbor, push it up. Still for five. And four. Still for three. And for two. And one, exhale, push out, hold it out now. So round out the upper spine, lean back, hold it out for four. Let's go three, for two, and one, four, release, palms on the floor. Untuck your toes, tap out your feet. Wake up through your ankles, wake up through your toes. And you tuck your toes, downward facing dog. So again, keep that opening through your shoulders. Externally rotate the shoulders. Feel your shoulder blades separate and push out more from your side body. We'll try some Shakti jumps now. So these are great ones for training for a tuck up handstand. Start to walk the feet in. Also great to increase your energy. Take an inhale, push out through the palms. And you exhale, bend the knees, look forward. When you're ready, flick the hips over your shoulders, pump up. Use the exhale breath. So it's all about that out breath. Go for four. Try to land soft. Three. Two. Last one, try to jump your feet between your hands. Four. Good. Inhale, halfway lift. And you exhale, bow forward. And inhale, push your feet all the way up. Reach your arms up. And you exhale, mountain pose, reset. And you stabilize, calm your breath. So keeping that really solid position, let's go through chair pose now. Take an inhale, bend the knees towards the floor. Sweep the hands low, lift up. Fix the gaze towards the ceiling, wrap the triceps forward. Squeeze that center line between your legs. So even if your legs are separated, squeeze the air between your legs. Squeeze that space between your hands. Any exhale breath, fold forward. Lengthen the back of your legs. Halfway lift, inhale. And you exhale, bow forward, palms on the floor. Step or flow back now, chaturanga. Inhale up and through. And you exhale, draw back. Push out, look forward. Right knee to right tricep, come forward, tap. Hold for two. And one, step back. Second side, left knee forward. Tap and hold for two. And one, step back. Flow with the breath now, inhale, right side forward. Step back, go for 10. Back, let's go nine, back, eight, back, seven, back, six, 
Né? Vai. Né? Four. So three. For two. And one back. Step or float top of the mat. Hips down to your heels. Walk the hands behind you. Let's go through Ardhanavasana, low bow. So take your time, lean back, lower spine on the mat, palms slip open, squeeze knees together, hold here for five, full of breaths, four, let's go for three, let's go for two, and one, inhale, exhale, cross your legs, chest your knees, roll forward, let's go ahead and take a block if you have one, we'll come into butterfly variation, so if you do have a block, take your feet onto the block, Interlace your fingers around your toes. Stage one is pause here, breathe through it. Stage two, inhale, lengthen the arm, gaze forward. Any long exhale, bend the elbows. So slowly start to draw the heart towards your feet. And let the mind calm, let it draw inside. Really like this block variation as it tends to keep your spine longer and also, you know, can easier to keep that full breath as well, draw in that new space. And eventually lift the gaze up, lengthen the spine, peace fingers around your big toes, extend the heels up, and then feel free to open up here. So open up, just allowing the shoulders to roll open. Let the heels extend forward and up. So bring a little bit of activation through the back of your legs, but allow the shoulders and hips to open. And pausing here, stage two. I'm just gonna adjust myself, keep that same position. Stage two, release your hands, palms come together, lower the back body onto the floor, inhale, exhale, push and lift. Inhale, lower, try to keep the feet elevated, lift. Let's go for 10. Go nine, let's go for eight, let's go seven, let's go six, let's go five, and four, three, two, and one up. Cross your legs, move forward, palms on the floor. You can step or float back. We'll move into four and plank, elbows on the floor. Draw the hips up and back. Pause here for a moment, keep drawing the belly back towards your thighs. Feel free to walk the feet in. Chin, steady breaths, squeeze the elbows together. And you exhale, knees on the floor. Palms together, keep the elbows on the mat. We'll draw the hands behind your head. So allowing your weight to pour back towards your heels. You extend that long inhale through the triceps, through your shoulders. Try to let everything completely drop. Then coming forward, palms on the floor, draw the knees together. So we're gonna go through some pike lifts. So this is kind of similar to the first drill we did. Well, this time we'll have a bit longer stance. So that means our hands will be out in front of us more. So palms on the floor, grip your fingers, triceps towards your body, push out. Use that straight arm scapular strength. So push in the mat, inhale. Exhale, stay on top of the feet, pike lift the hips. Hold here for four, push out, go for three. In two, one more full inhale. In the exhale, lower the knees, draw on the floor, inhale, open up, lift the chest open, exhale, forward, push and lift. Let's go for five, open up. In four, let's go three, two, open up. And last one, try to get a little bit of air now, push forward, exhale, push and lift, knees to your chest. And landing as soft as you can. Roll behind you, both legs extend out. Big toes touch, heels slightly separated. Inhale, 
Reach your arms up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, soften your knees, fold forward. So the whole point here is keeping that long spine and full breath. I don't care how deep you go. Even grab your shins if you need to. Just settle into your own flexibility. You're challenging your edge. Next exhale breath, lift the gaze up past your toes. So if you have blocks, I want you to locate those right now. If you don't have blocks, that's okay. Just use nothing or maybe a book or a notepad, your choice. Just take one of your objects between your legs, squeeze in. So squeeze in the block, lift your feet off the floor, take the other object between your hands. Hold here for a moment, legs come 90 degrees. Squeeze your palms together. Inhale breath. Any exhale, drop to the right. Inhale center. And left, let's go for 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, keep the legs lifting, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, come up and hold, reach the block overhead, try to go down, low boat, Ardnavasana, hold here, 5, 4, Three, two, and one, release. Drop your body onto the mat, mini shavasana. So a little bit of rest here. Coming into a little bridge if you have no block. If you do have one, take that block underneath your sacrum, get a nice break here. Let your hips go, let the shoulders drop. I mean, next stage from here, perhaps lengthen out your legs. Just allowing the psoas and hip flexors kind of passively melt open. And big full body rest. Feet back to the floor. It's coming to a real little bridge now. So push out through the feet. Lift the hips up. Take your feet a little bit wider than your hips. Interlace your fingers underneath you. Roll the shoulders underneath you. Push your arms into the floor. Get long spine. Long neck. Start to activate the inner strength line through your legs. So feel the heels squeeze together. Use that power to fire up your pelvis, fire up your core. And exhale, release your hands. Fingertips up towards the ceiling. Slow breath out. Start to lower one vertebrae at a time. Mobilize your back body all the way down towards your sacrum. Right, palms by your hips. Let's go side to side. Really gently side to side motion. Good. Knees to your chest. Take your hands behind your thighs. Extend out through your legs. Now flex your feet. Just roll out. Circle out your lower spine. At any point you feel like it coming to thread the needle. So right foot stacks on top of left thigh. Interlace the fingers. And again, feel free to find that really gradual side to side motion. Let your shoulders lay back to the ground. And when you're ready, extend back up, heels towards the ceiling. Push out, second side, bend that left knee, stack, interlace, and start to mobilize that left hip now. And it's really nice to find a sticky spot. It's different for everybody. Just stay there, breathe through it. Let your weight kind of explore that softening through your edge. Releasing heels up, eventually bend the knee, start to roll forward and back, so mobilize, forward and back motion. 
and eventually cross your legs, come up onto all fours. And we'll take a hold of our blocks on the front of us. So using blocks or nothing at all doesn't really matter. I like to use blocks here as I really start to train, you know, that jump through drill, getting your feet actually off the mat. So good for beginners. Make sure your palms are directly on the blocks and you come to a place where all 10 fingertips can grip around the edges. So again, pushing up, protract your shoulders, triceps towards your body, tuck your toes, downward facing dog, looking forward. So I'm going to mirror you guys. Let's go right knee, left tricep forward, top of the foot on the floor, left knee forward, squeeze in center, hold here. So try to bring the knees close towards your blocks. Hug in center, hold for five, four, round the upper spine, push for three, let's go for two, and one, step back, in second side, left knee forward, right leg forward, push, this time I want you to hop up, so use your inhale, charge up, exhale, lift the feet off the floor, let's go five, four, let's go for three, and two, and one, Come on to the mat, block off to the side. And let's go through fire log. So let's get the left foot on top of your right knee first. So stacking, flexor, left foot, heel toe. Just make sure your shins are in line with each other. And it's all good if there's a space here. You just wanna make sure this right ankle stays pretty solid and flexed. A lot of time we get more mobility through the hip if we bend through the ankle. But try to keep it really solid here. So stack it on top of your knee. Placing a prop underneath that left knee. And I'm trying to relax into it now. So once you have something supporting you, relax into it. Stage two. Tend the fingertips forward, walking forward. completely draw inside. Find that recovery and rest that you need to try your best in the next strength drill. We're actually going to move right into handstands after this, so rest up. We're coming back through center, it's release, second side, so same thing, this time left foot on the floor, right foot stacks on top, so just appreciate the differences between your sides. Maybe you need support on this side, maybe not. And again, drawing forward, keep that left foot, or sorry, keep that right foot flexing. So using a lot of activation to move into this one. If you feel like your knee's bugging you when you come into this one, I should have mentioned this at the start, you can take your foot on top of the block instead. So this kind of lessens that angle on your knee, makes it a bit more accessible for people with knee issues. Just keep that in mind for next time, I guess. Coming forward. A couple more breaths. Eventually walking up. So release that block off to the side and we'll go through our tuck up handstands so if you're a completely beginner in handstands i definitely recommend going against the wall because this one's a little bit harder to control than normal kick up handstands um, and we'll see why in a few seconds here if you're brand new so coming on to all fours let's go through our alignment cues first just to make sure we're on the same page with how we're activating through our body so once you come on to all fours First thing, the most important thing, as you start to go upside down, you wanna have that protraction through your shoulders. So make sure is that pushing action. Again, we're being efficient. We're not pushing as hard as we can at the start. We're using more muscles. Start to lift the back of the heart. So lift up through the upper spine. Feel your fingers grip the floor. So grip so much, even your mid knuckles start to lift and elevate off the floor. It's really important for this one. As your fingers act as kind of breaks as you move forward. So as you start to advance your practice, you'll realize how important that wrist mobility really is and that finger strength. So push up, triceps wrap towards your body. I want to bring the eye of the elbow in line with your thumb. So this is going to create a bit more opening through your shoulders, which makes it easier for you to tuck up into your handstand, if that makes sense. You need to use less strength as we have more mobility through your shoulders. So wrapping it, push up. So the way I was taught, the way I like to practice this, is coming to down dog first. So keep that shape of the arms, down dog first. And again, if you're a beginner, go against the wall, squeeze it. So you want to walk in pretty much as much as you can to feel comfortable here. 
As you get more advanced in your practice, the further you'll start to walk your feet in. Push up, keep wrapping the triceps in. And once you get to that space where you feel like, okay, I'm good here, I can't really go anymore, I want you to think about, again, pushing the mat, but think mostly about using your breath. The breath is key here. So as we inhale, charge up, pushing the mat. Exhale, bend your knees like a spring. Bottom of your exhale is when you jump up, draw the belly in, lean forward. So try a couple of tuck ups. Even one inch off the floor is amazing. So use your exhale breath. Draw the knees in. Maybe get a little bit of hang time. Let's go three more. Let's go two. Oh. <laughs> Let's go one more time. Grip in, flick up, and eventually back down to the floor. Open up, release out, interlace the fingers. Right, let's roll out with your wrists. So give yourself a little break here. If your shoulders feel really tight, you go ahead and take a t-shirt or a strap, kind of roll the shoulders open back and forth. I can't seem to see a strap here, so I'll just go like this, <laughs> see if you guys can catch on. We use that exercise for the next one. So the more mobility you have, the better shape you have. That's going to make it easier for you to hold these postures. So shoulder mobility, really important. Come over, shoulders over wrists again. Grip your fingers and tuck the toes. This time try to walk in a little bit further. So you walk your feet in. You can start to lift the hips maybe towards the shoulders. Lean forward, grip your fingers again. Inhale, push up. Exhale, bend, tuck up. Let's go for four. Land three. Let's go for two, and one, four, grip your fingers, and eventually down to the floor, release it out, legs extend out, bring the legs wide, so using a low block underneath your hips, you feel really tight through your inner thighs, and go through a cool down now, so the variation that I like in this one is peace fingers around your big toes, take an inhale, lengthen out, look forward, and you exhale, bend the elbows towards your knees. Gradually start to draw the heart forward. On your breath, lift the gaze up. Come back on through center. Both legs track into the middle of your mat. Fingertips forward. Use some core activation. One vertebrae at a time and lower onto the mat. So try to go really slow. Of course, the lower back touches first. Into the mid spine. All the way onto the shoulders. Reach your arms overhead. You're gonna hook your right thumb over your left thumb. So spread the fingers, shoulders behind you. And just feel that natural kind of activation through the side body. Take a big inhale through your nose. Exhale, release of the mouth. Three more inhale. Exhale, stick your tongue out. One more time, lion's breath. And let's release it out. Hands down by your hips. We'll take the heels up towards the ceiling, knees towards the armpits. Take the whole heel side of your feet. Any happy baby here, so just releasing out. Feel that counteraction of the knees drawing down and the heels pressing up. And fully start to release the hips. And you bend one knee, lengthen the other leg. Any movement that feels good, just feel free to explore. Maybe both feet behind your head. Just keep your neck really steady. And drawing back through center. Let's release, feet together, knees wide, recline butterfly. So feel free to use some props here underneath your thighs. Of course, fully surrendering into the weight of gravity around you. And moving into our final posture, Shavasana. So at any point, Feel free to lengthen out your legs. Let's take up tons of room on your mat. 
and feel the back of your head and fully let go into the mat. Let that stillness travel through your temples, your eyebrows, all the way through your jaw and neck. And giving yourself the gift of this time to fully relax and recover. Build that new strength you worked so hard for. Feel some new energy start to build in your body. And thanks so much for joining today, guys. I recommend staying here for at least another five minutes. Namaste, and check back for more videos.